Hey guys, what's up? It's Ijevin. How is everybody doing? And I am back with some more Minecraft Feed the Beast. How is everybody doing today? Uh, we are going to go ahead and show you the updated base. I've been working on this base on two streams in a row of like four hours each. And uh, the base is looking awesome now. So let's go ahead and take a look around, shall we? Uh, the entire floor is concrete. Uh, you're going to notice these leaves up here. I'll mention that in just a second. Um, first off, um, we decided to use inverted lamps. These are actually light gray inverted lamps. I think I have some over here. Um, anyway, I just wanted to show you what they looked like. Uh, yeah, these guys right here. Uh, these are the lamps that are in the ground. Um, pretty easy to make, actually. Uh, so anyways... Um, we have our, this took me three hours to do last night, actually, uh, on stream. I was looking around trying to find, uh, trying to find saplings, or not saplings, but logs with the resin on the right side. Uh, I finally got that finished, and it produces a whole lot of uh, sticky resin. That's just like one stack. I actually think I got like three stacks from it, but I'm not sure. Um, you notice how, like, well, how do you have that up there? I moved it. Yeah. Um, outside, we actually have, um, we actually have this, where's that? Let me move. Come on. Let me move. There we go. Um, we have wood, or no, we have dirt covers now. Uh, we make covers to hide our stuff. So we go over here. There's one missing, though. Unfortunately, it doesn't fade to grass. Which kind of sucks, but you know, whatever, it's not a big deal. Oh, my pumpkins, or melons, I forgot about those. Um, so yeah, this is the top part of it. I need to give them their cover. I don't know what happened to that one. And I want to see where this goes, actually. Um, let's go down. Okay. I think I might uh, use that as an... Uh, I might put an arcane levitator there, so we can get out in and out easily. That'd be pretty cool, actually. Uh, anyway, so yeah, this is the updated base. I actually was considering switching to um, fast. Oh, it didn't really do anything. All right. Well, here let's uh, let's go. Oh, let me turn my engine off real fast. We're gonna go to Optifine options, details, trees, fast. Okay, so it doesn't really show light behind it, but it actually looks a lot cooler. <laughs> I might actually keep it like that. Um, and then we can probably just put this back on fancy. There we go. The reason why I want to do this is because the light doesn't show behind it, but it's still there. Like, I didn't really like the way it looked before, uh, but it's doing pretty good, actually, I have to say. Um, but anyway, these are the rainbow oak leaves. So anytime you place these down, it starts with the color and then it goes down the rainbow, as you can see. So it just does the rainbow all the way around the house, and it's freaking awesome. Also completely organized our new storage system, um, starting with iron all the way down the line. You got even got iridium, uh, all of the glowstone, all that stuff, uh, torches, um, so we need to hook that up, that's what this stuff is over here. I've started it, but I haven't finished it yet, so I need to, like, get all the sorting done. If we go in here and take a looky-loo, there we go. I'm still working on that, it's gonna, there's gonna be a chest right here, um, and then it's gonna go to up here, and then it's gonna go back through, uh, probably down here somewhere. I'm gonna use one of the, the circle covers, uh, let's see, where are they at? Um, I'm probably going to use something like this right here, so it, it can go through, but it'll still be covered. Uh, so that's going to be pretty awesome as well. Um, next thing I want to do is, I think that's everything. Yeah, I think so. Alright, let's go upstairs and let's make an arcane levitator, because I don't know what happened to mine. Uh, we can also now uh, fill in that. I took out the beacons for now. Uh, let's start, we already have like... All this stuff, we might as well just frickin' uh, get rid of them. It's not a big deal. Alright, sorry about that. Anyway, so let's find a uh, find Thalmanomicon. I hope I have one up here. And I don't think I do. Alright. Uh, looks like we gotta go back downstairs real fast. I, I was almost so lazy to where I didn't even want to make one. So, I was just gonna make one instead of coming back down here. Um, there's gotta be one around here somewhere. There's one. Okay, and we'll also bring this with us as well. Okay, I have my big wand, the wand that holds... Uh, I'm, I finished up one of the researches. Oh my god, those guys are annoying! 
I finished up a research that's called the Theory of Everything, and it makes this big wand right here, this guy. It holds a thousand beasts, or however you want to pronounce it. Anyways, I have the Levitator research done, we just gotta build one, basically. Uh, so let's kind of see what we need here. Uh, we need building blocks, magical wood. That that shouldn't be too bad, actually. Uh, Alright, let's go ahead and grab the shards. So we need a green and a yellow. Where's all my shards? Well, there's the green. Here, let's, let's organize this. I don't think I'm going to be able to, actually. Here, let's uh, do that. This. So for some reason, like all of my shards are missing. Oh, interesting. I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys. So I am back. I have everything I need. We can go ahead and get started with uh, crafting. First off, we need to make magical building blocks, which is uh, these guys right here. Okay. So it takes thomium ingots on the sides. I need to light up the walls, the inside of my walls. That, and then we need to put this guy right here. There we go. Magical building block done. Go ahead and put these over here. Uh, actually, we have like most of this crafting recipe done already. Like, so. Man, I can't remember if it was yellow or green. Green goes on top. That. 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 Alright, and then back over here we need to make wood now. Uh, the, to make the wood that we need, we have to do all nine. And then we have to put the wand here. There we go, and I'm, we only need four of them, so... We haven't really done much Thomcraft stuff on camera, so I'm sure you guys will be happy to see a little bit of that. Thomcraft stuff is something that you really can't do on camera all that often, though. Uh, and then we just need to fill out these things down here real fast, which be, shouldn't be too bad. Uh, so the first thing that we need is machinima. Or machina, I think is what it's called, I'm sorry. Uh, which can be redstone, I think. Uh, let's take a look around here. We've got the feather, which is good. Um, I don't think I have any redstone up here. Let's just take a look around and see if it... Oh, uh, there's some redstone. Alright, so we'll grab some of that. How much for the redstone do we need? Uh, you're probably wondering why the cauldron's here. That's what the cauldron's actually for, but I don't think I have a bucket here, do I? No. Alright, we'll just make one, no big deal. Um, but yeah, what you do is you basically just uh, fill that up and then you fill up your water. Uh, let it boil, sort of. Bubble. Bubbly bubblies. Like this. And then as you can see, these aspects down here need to be filled up. So we need eight, eight of the machina. Um, and so redstone does two per, actually. Yeah, two per. So this is bubbling. So all we have to do is do one, two, three, four. And then we just walk up to it. And then we just chuck the redstone in there like that. We'll look on here. This is now full. So now we just need to do movements. Uh, flying and earth. Uh, earth is really easy. That's just dirt. Um, there we go. And then how much of the dirt do we actually need? We need eight of that. Uh, so f I think it's... Are they two? Yeah. Alright, so let's just take one away. Throw that in there. So that should be good. And then we need feathers. Do we have any rubber? Yeah, okay, good. So we should have everything we need up here. That's why I have all this like random stuff in the chest. Feathers are two, so once again we need four. Two, three, four. Good to go, and need rubber. Rubber is two as well. One, two, three, four. Good to go. Oh, did it go in? Apparently. Yeah, alright, and then we just do that, and it makes us an arcane levitator. Do I know how to use this thing? Oh, I have no clue, but whatever. Let's just give it a shot. That's what, that's what we're here for, just to test this bad boy out. Uh, first thing that I want to do is I want to grab some blocks. I know that our chest plate allows us to fly, but coming out of that hole is going to be difficult because I suck at flying, so I'm just looking for some marble brick right now. Or some. We're going to close up this hole over here real fast before we do anything. Alright, so first off... Let me get this out. I want this to actually look decent. So, 
I think just hopping on the levitator will be super easy, really. There we go. Let's go up. Ah. I don't think I have, oh, I do have my sword on me. I'm gonna kill you. Notice how the nano sabers glitched out. <laughs> we figured out that it still works. It just, uh, here, let me turn my engine off to make sure that it's off. Yeah, it is, okay. Uh, we figured out that it still works. It just needs, uh, it's just a texture glitch, really, so. Um, there we go, it should be off still. When you have it on, it runs down your chest plate, so. Yeah, off. There we go. So let's turn the chest plate back on. There we go. And we should be good to go. I'm going to take this torch away, though. Alright, so. Turn it off. Put our levitator down. I'm not sure how to use a levitator. I guess it just instantly starts working. I mean, it doesn't have any, like, other... Other settings, I'm assuming? Oh, interesting. That works pretty good! Now it's just I'm gonna be a noob trying to get back and forth. That's up, and uh, we should probably make a down as well. Because I just now thought of that, like, how am I gonna get in and out of there so easily? Hmm, I did not think of that, actually. <laughs> God, I'm an idiot. Um, hmm. Here, let's just, uh, let's go in the front door, I guess. The forest is coming along nicely, by the way. It's, it takes a while, because I have to collect saplings. And, uh, it, it does take a little while, that's a show. Right, maybe we just put it, like, right here. Let's go up, uh, right here real fast. Oh, that's, in, is that inside the, no. Okay, so... That's not too bad. In and out, really. Um, yeah. And since we don't take fall damage... Man, I'm really debating whether or not I even want to use this thing. Like, it sounds like a good idea, but, like, if we just put the concrete down... Maybe what we could do is uh, signify that block with something else. Like... Um, maybe, like, uh, color... Oh, you know what? I have some uh, colored lamps in here somewhere. Like, I have the inverted ones, but they're, like, blue. Now all we gotta do is find them. Like, good luck with that, right? I have way too much stuff. I'm, I'm st I've am I'm started uh, organizing, though, so... Maybe if we just uh, put this here. That'll be kind of the indicator to just go here. Press F. Fly straight up. See, and I still fail. We need to be looking directly in the center of it, I'm assuming. Yeah. That's not too bad. Maybe we won't use a levitator. I mean, I can always use a levitator for something else. So we just walk up to it, look at our arrow directly in the center, press F, go straight up. Yeah, I think that's how we're going to do it. All right, let me uh, let me close all this off real fast. Okay. And uh, so I'll be back in a minute, guys. We're going to work on some other stuff this episode as well. All right, guys. So I am back. Uh, I just finished up a research called Warded Stone Indoors. And this, my friends, is a very, very cool research. First off, it makes Warded Stone. This Warded Stone is unbreakable besides the, by the wand that it's made with. So I can make all this different colored stone. And it, it's kind of like the stone had spawned, pretty much. I can change colors with wool. Uh, next one is warded glass. Yes, sir. Uh, two thalmium ingots and a zombie brain. Uh, and we can make indestructible glass. So I am very, very excited about this. Um, I think I have a lot more brains. I just have to find them. <laughs> uh, let me make sure. Okay, so I have like nine brains. Um, I should have plenty of thalmium ingots as well. Like here's one. Uh, here's some, and then I have some more downstairs as well. So we need 18 of them to use all of the brains that we have. Um, I should have them over here. Yeah, there they are. So we need here. Let me get rid of this. We're gonna make a bunch of this glass. Uh, the reasoning for this glass. I've been trying to get this glass for forever. Um, there is a reasoning behind my madness here. I don't want to go there. Actually, uh, I want to go here. Uh, I actually want to section off my building but I didn't want it to be walls I wanted it to be glass that way we could see through 
Now we can actually do this. Uh, so let's see. To make this class, you just need to go here, 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 um, and then you put the ingots here, and then you put the brains here. Okay, and then we just need a wand, this guy. Put the wand there, and then that makes warded glass. So I'm just going to make as much of it as I can. Um, we might actually go kill some zombies in a little bit, but like I said, oh, we need the, we need the uh, wand for this, because we can't break the glass without the wand. So if I place this down, I can sit here and hack away at this thing all day. The only thing that's breaking it is this. And you have to right click on it. So, uh, what I was thinking about doing was kind of uh, dissectioning out our building here. Like, put one here, you know. Hopefully, it doesn't glitch out like that. If it does glitch out like that, I will be removing Optifine pretty quickly. Uh, one thing I wanted to try was this. I know it does connect to textures, so um, we might put cobblestone at the top up there, get rid of this, uh, this block altogether. Um, for some reason, they're not connecting like I want them to. Like, going up. I don't know. Here, let's uh, mess with options real fast. So, details. Water. Fancy. There we go. Uh, I thought that's what the problem was. Uh, there's still a tad bit glitchy, but whatever. Uh, and then this would section off our room pretty well. Uh, and mainly because... Uh, let me break this real fast. Uh, so, what we can do is we can make a little portal entrance and we can put... Um, Where's my Thalmanomicon? Right here. Uh, we can put one of these warded doors in. So that means nobody can get into our base unless we let them get into our base. What's this? Uh, so I'm pretty sure we need the key to open the door. Uh, or we could give the keys to other people, maybe? I'm not sure. I've never really messed with the doors before. But uh, doing this is, uh, this is going to be way cool. Because then we can have separate sections, like... This guy can be a separate room and it'll have its own chest. And then we can have a potion room over here would be his own chest. Something like that. And that's what I was kind of wanting to do the entire time, but I couldn't get these blocks. <laughs> so, but these things are awesome, guys. You can, like, literally nuke the ground with these things and nothing will happen. So it's pretty cool. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to do as a floor plan just yet. So... Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'll be back in a second. I'm actually gonna go kill some more zombies real fast. Okay guys, I am back. I thought of an idea on how I want to lay this out. I haven't actually messed with it yet. I was able to get one more brain successfully and make some more. Uh, so here is my reasoning. I'm not gonna use the glass right away. I'm just gonna use some stone or cobblestone or something. That way it's a little bit easier for me. I know exactly what I want to do. Uh, I have an idea though. So the first off my idea would be to um, put a wall like right here. Um, and then have this sort of come to the middle a little bit. Um, so let's see. We probably probably want to go. Uh, I don't. I don't know exactly what the middle of this room is, though. That's a thing. So eventually, it would want to branch out like this, and we'll go up. And then in the middle of this floor here, like right in here, this will be our work area. We'll have like a bunch of different uh, tables um, that'll help us craft stuff a lot faster. Um, and then it'll come, I don't know, like, I should probably find the middle of this real fast, shouldn't I? <laughs> uh, the good thing is we have these, uh, floor tiles that help us out a lot. Um, so let's see, three, three, actually it's four, so three, three, and then it comes down to this. So, like, there's the two middle blocks are right here. That's not too bad. Alright, so uh, I would want this to... I want to give myself some room on each side. So, one, two... Uh, we might actually bring this over just a little bit more. Uh, I'm going to get rid of those. I just gave myself plenty of room to walk back here, basically. I actually think I'm going to scoot this back one more, just because if I don't, it'll bug me. Here. Alright, so we put them here. And then probably go to there, bring it over here. Um, like we don't really need like all that much room. Uh, probably come to here. I'm trying to work my way in and out of one away from the lights. If you haven't noticed yet, <laughs> one away, one away, one away. That's two away. So I think we'll go here. Come this way. That'll give us plenty of rooms for the workshop. Um, <laughs> Not sure how much I have. 
I think I have like five or six stacks. I'm not sure. I, I've been using it pretty pretty much a lot though. Uh, anyway, so this will be like our work area. Um, actually, we should probably make that a little bit bigger because we're gonna have a lot of crafting tables and stuff there. Um, a lot of our machines are gonna be upstairs though. I want to keep the machines separate because if I ever have another explosion, I want to be able to recover pretty quickly from it. So we'll probably come there. Uh, like this entire room right here is going to be all in itself pretty much I think um, well I don't know we really don't have to do it like that I guess um, I really didn't consider all of this when I was planning out the floor <laughs> um, but that's easily uh, we can just put blocks all around this stuff I might rewire that later on I think uh, right now I just want to lay out this floor plan so uh, I would want this to go over to this wall because we want to be able to get resin pretty quickly actually you know what um, hmm. I'm not sure. See, the way I laid this out, I kind of put myself in a hole because I have these going all the way over. I could just cut it in half and then fill up half of the wall. Uh, I'm pretty sure the middle of it's like uh, right here. So if we just took this half and then moved them over, that could work out pretty well easily. Anyway, so uh, like I think if we move that over, then we can move this back down this way. Bring it over, that way we can get to all of our items. And then this wall, we could have like a door coming out or like an entrance right here. Um, and then that would come over here. And uh, and then, I don't know, I think the floor plan will be pretty cool when it's done, but I think I'm gonna have to do some rearranging to make it work is the only thing. All right guys, so I am back. The funny thing is like, I'm not even sure that I need the top part anymore. Like, this big room pretty much satisfies all my needs. Do do you think I should get rid of the top part or just keep it as, like, a business front? Kind of like JevTech, you know, but down here is where all the work goes down. Um, I don't know, like, I just, I just don't see it having a use. I was actually considering moving my machines down here because it's a little bit easier for me to get to them. Uh, up here, I have to jump on the machines. If you're five blocks away, the machines glitch out. So if I'm standing right here, you see how it doesn't even have power? But if I go up here... Now all of a sudden it does have power, so uh, it's kind of a pain, and I was thinking, you know, maybe I might move them down here. What do you guys think about that? So maybe I just put some fake blocks up there or something to kind of, hey, you know, this is our work, this is our house, in quotation marks, but down here is where they're actually at, so... Let me know what you guys think about that. I'm going to go ahead and end the video because I do have a lot of work to get done today, and I'm going to Chuck E. Cheese in a little bit to have a birthday party. Not my birthday party, but somebody I know. Uh, anyway, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, don't forget to leave a rating below. As always, this is I, Jevin. Peace out.